What's going on guys, it's Arrow here and fucking heavy. Xbox One, let's uh, cut right to the chase, gonna do a quick unboxing video. I've never done one of these before, so uh, I figured I would just for shits and giggles, um, just to get something out to you guys today. I actually picked up the first one, the very first Xbox One at Target, if you know it's not day one edition because the Target here didn't do uh, pre-orders, so they didn't have any day one editions. Whatever, I can deal with that having a sticker on my controller, it doesn't bother me. I uh, picked up, of course, Forza 5 Limited, uh, Collector's Edition, because you know, when a game has 10 cars, you want the other 10. Um, Battlefield 4, I never really got into Battlefield, I bought Battlefield 3 and never played it. Um, but I played Battlefield 4, and my friend brought it over, and I really enjoyed it, so I'm going to try that. I also got Call of Duty Ghosts, because I got it through a trade-in deal for basically nothing, and I like had to pay ten dollars to get the upgraded one and uh, I got a new controller for my, my female who's over there dying because we've been up since two o'clock this morning well, I've been up since three yesterday it's now 9 30 um, ish 9 30 almost on the it's top. 9 30 so I've been up since 3 p.m. yesterday uh, where I live doesn't do midnight releases so I had to wait till 8 o'clock I've been in line at Target at since 2 a.m. met a couple great people um, you know whatever I would love to talk about it, but you know, we don't have much time here, so let's open the box. First thing we see here um, is the... It's being difficult. She's laughing at me. Uh, trying to be nice, but I don't want to be nice to this Kinect sensor. Uh, also, of course, not required, I don't think, on the, on the next box now. It plugs in via this fucking strange ass it's weird looking um, it's got some plastic on it blah 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 it's kind of big and it's weighty it's got some weight to it um, I you know kind of eager to see how it works but at the same time I don't really give a shit so there's that I don't know why she's squeaking apparently she's broken um, we're putting this cardboard out of the way. Quick setup guide, but we're intelligent, so we don't need that. We're not 40 year old women. A uh, little, I guess the headset that comes with it. Um, and as you guys know, I'm not a paid. Uh, I don't, I, this wasn't product, I don't get product placements. I don't, I'm not paid by Microsoft to turn 10 or whatever. So I'm going to be straight up with you with everything I see here. Uh, this control on the bottom of the mic looks pretty cool. It has your volume up, volume down, and your mute directly on the bottom of your controller. That's a cool feature. The headset itself is fucking dinky and cheap feeling and plasticky. Uh, you know, I figured they would improve it from the original Xbox headset. It looks worse. It looks a lot smaller. It feels a lot cheaper. Um, definitely gonna have to pony up around Christmas time and buy myself a, a Turtle Beach-esque headset, you know. Again, not sponsored by anybody, just the company I've been with for a couple of years now. So now we get on to the controllers, which I, until today I thought had integrated batteries. I guess I was wrong. I heard somewhere there was integrated batteries. Some fucking stupid plastic. So yeah, here's a controller. I didn't get the day one edition, so boo-hoo, I don't have a little stupid sticker. Uh, I've actually played Xbox One before, so I have used this controller before. It feels a lot like the Xbox original in terms of like weight and how it feels. Very solid, very sturdy. Uh, there's a plug-in here for I don't I'm really know what that is, but uh, and then you just pop this off. And, okay, you pop that off the back, and uh, I believe it's two double A's. It says hello from Seattle in there. So apparently Owl City is making uh, Xbox controllers. Um, I don't know, that's kind of cute. Nice little feature, nice attention to detail. Though the headset's still pretty shit. Uh, yeah, two double A's. Um, luckily for me, I've got a lot of uh, rechargeable ones, so battery was not be an issue for me. So that's why I got the, just the regular old you know, controller. We'll put that over there for now. Of course, you gotta get the power cable, which if you notice, I was about to say lacks a brick, but here is the fucking brick. That's not cool. I don't like that. Um, 
you know, PS4 integrated battery, uh, battery or power brick. We're in the next gen now. Uh, you figure that that's something that they would think of. I'd rather actually personally a bigger console if it means no power brick because now I, because I still have my 360, I'll have two power bricks back there. Okay, so I think this is HDMI cables. They're funky looking. What? Yeah, look at this. Nice and square off. I guess yeah. you know. HDMI. What? Yeah, another HDMI. Just like the ends are kind of strange. I mean, it doesn't fucking matter, I guess, but. You know, nice and sturdy. It looks like a decently sized cable, maybe like four feet, five feet. Which is good. I figured they'd be giving us a tiny one. And now, to the main course. If I look like I'm struggling, it's because I've been up for way too long. I've had many a coffee and energy drink. If anything, just made it worse. So this is... The Xbox One. And I mean, you've seen it in pictures and everything, but no one's told you what you really want to know is why and what, how big is it. It's about the same size as the 360, if not a little bit bigger. Um, you know, of course, there will be a slim one eventually. You got this kind of vented vent up here, and then you got like, your piano black like you had on the original PS3s. In the back you have an IR out. I don't I don't know what that means. Your Ethernet, uh, uh, your thing for connect because it's fucking stupid. Uh, your digital audio out which seems to be the only thing that's not HDMI that supports audio. Your power, your power HDMI out to your TV and your HDMI in from your satellite or cable box which is pretty cool. Um, what? USB on the side. Uh, okay, well, I'll get to that then. Uh, there's a little lock thing. I don't know what that is. I guess that's for retail if you want to like lock your machine. And uh, your two USBs on the back, which is convenient for me because I have a keyboard and my headset. That's the only two USB things I have. Um, you see that there. Um, and if you want to use your Turtle Beach headset or you need to use your red and, uh, uh, red and white cords with this, all you have to do is get a digital audio, uh, optical audio converter, and uh, it will change that for you. I picked one on Amazon, up on Amazon for about like $14 or $15, plus $15 uh, one day shipping. So it should be here later today. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 I don't really like how the colors are mix matched. I feel it would have been better if they kept the gray and the gray and the black on the black. But, you know, minor detail. It is a little thick, um, but it's, it, it doesn't weigh excessively. It's, it's designed very similarly like the 360. It's just a bit more square, which honestly I prefer. But I will not be able to, uh, can't stack anything on top of it because, of course, you've got your heating vents here. And as my wonderful lady friend also said, you got two USB ports on the side. Just the one. Or one. I haven't even looked. Yep, we got one. So if you know, you got your external drives or whatever, and then your uh, eject button is here. I think, or that's the power. It's, it's something. It's uh, it does something, and uh, you got your eject button here. I think. And uh, yeah, nothing flips off. Nothing. Uh, nothing more to it. So I don't know. I prefer this to the PS4 design. Uh, this is a, it's more basic, but I like that. I think the PS4, they, you know, they went to try to do something different and it just didn't turn out visually well. But it's a little <clears throat> on the big side, and uh, you know, it's still a, I'm still sure I can get a lot of use out of this, and hopefully, it doesn't have the same sort of issues that Xbox 360 had when it uh, just released. But thank you guys for watching. If you did watch this, uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, uh, if you're watching this just randomly, I do a lot of Forza videos, a lot of racing videos. If you guys are into that. Please check out my older stuff and, you know, maybe give it a look-see. And if you like it, you can give me a subscription. That'd be nice. We're almost at 20K. And uh, if you guys are thinking of picking up an Xbox One, well, too bad. You probably won't get one until around uh, around Christmas or after Christmas. But, you know, at the, at the core of it, it seems like a, a half-decent unit.